It's the second date update on Mojo in the Morning. All right, second date update. Why are you not getting a call back? If you've ever been ghosted before, if you've ever had somebody not call you back, you can text DATE to 95500. That's DATE, D-A-T-E, to 95500. We'll get you on a second date update. Andy not getting a call back. Hi, Andy. Hey, man. Good morning. How are you? I'm a pretty good. How's things? Good. I'm a pretty good, too. I, but tell me, uh, Andy, first off, you guys used to work together, and that's how you guys met? Yeah, we worked at Chili's in a few years, and uh, it was nice. You know, I liked her a lot and just hung out and did stuff, but uh, we met on a date. Uh, we went out to Classic Lanes, you know, a couple of brewskis. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I messaged her on Facebook, and we went out, and we had a nice time and everything, and I never heard from her. I don't know what's up. I act like Ghost City. So, wait, so you guys go out, you guys bowl together, and then... Yeah, Classic Lanes. I and love it. I love Classic yeah. Lanes. And then... Yeah. And then you guys go out, have this fun night together, and after the night's over with, do you say goodbye to each other? Do you give her a hug? Have you? Did you kiss her? What'd you do? Yeah, you know, middle of the night kind of thing. I got to get up and go to early work. So, but yeah, it was sweet. It, it seemed pretty good. I didn't understand. I didn't think I did anything wrong. You know, <laughs> but, and uh, but wondering but no, exactly what's going on. There was was there any talk at all? Like, hey, I'll call you tomorrow, or hey, you know, she said something well, you to know, you. After all that activity in the middle of the early morning, you know, it's a little bit limited, but, <clears throat> you know, it, it was it was just, it would seem like it was all cordial and everything was good. Uh, on the phone with us is Katie. Katie, you okay with your voice on the radio? Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, we, you should call me sir. <laughs> I like that. Mm-hmm. That's kind of nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Somebody at least has to be respectful in this room. Nah. Um, Katie, uh, say hello to Andy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Katie, I don't you heard Andy talking to us, right? You you were on hold there? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. And is there something going on like where you're not returning phone calls or not trying to maybe set up a second date? Are you guys not interested in that? Well, one thing he didn't mention is he's married. Ooh. Well, okay, wait. Andy, that's a big thing to leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come in a lot. <laughs> Let's just yeah. say it's not one of the things that came up that evening. What do you <laughs> wait? Wait, hold on a second. Stop <laughs> for a second. How You're, do you not know that that's the issue? By the way, it's a gutter ball, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> K- Katie, did you find out after the date that Andy's married, or did you find out during the date that Andy's married? I found during found out th- during the date. I mean, come on, who asked someone out on a date and just in the course of conversation says, "So I, uh, you know, I'm thinking of leaving my wife." <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Andy was in a seven ten split. <laughs> okay, that's bad. That's very very bad. But you still spend the night. No woman wants to hear that on a date. Yeah, I mean. It was towards the end of the day, and I, I just, I, okay, the bigger question is, why are you trying to see me while you're still married? Andy. Well, Katie, you know, when we were working at Chili's, and, you know, we definitely liked hanging together, and I got a lot of stuff going on at the house. It's a lot more complicated, and then it you know, I wanted to sort of just bring in on the fact, but, you know, we've been fighting and we got a lot, just a lot of stuff happening and some, you know. Are you and your wife together? Yeah, but I mostly sleep out on the sofa. So, so wait, so to me, it's not such a big <laughs> wait, deal. So, so are you, but, but are you, does she, so does she see it though the same way? Like, does she see that you guys are about to go your separate ways? I don't know. I mean, I think she does. I don't think there's anything wrong with where we're at. Did, where did she think you were when you were out bowling all night with Katie? I just felt like I was totally connected to Katie. And, uh, 
that's just not the feeling. I, I okay, no, you're I not understand. answering the where, question. Where did your wife think that you were? I mean, oh, listen, I, I give this guy I a, a up, went to classic lanes, man. No, so you, so you just said that you're hanging out. So real quick, so just to, to throw this out there, this guy's willing to come on the radio with us <laughs> and talk about this. So he can't be in a too committed of a relationship, knowing that his wife. And friends and family and stuff like that could hear this. Well, I think we knew he wasn't committed when he was going on dates with other women. Well, the I understand. Question is, I understand, but he's not trying to be secretive. No. He's, not, he's not trying to be secretive about the whole thing. So, so Katie, if he were not with a wife, would you have found him to be charming? You know, I would have given it another date for sure. I mean... Listen, when somebody drops a bomb on that, like that, on the end of the date, it's just, I'm sorry, a date is a date. It's not therapy. You know, it, you've got to work out all that stuff on your own and then invite somebody new into your life. I hear this not more and more. Around. I'm hearing this more and more. I'm not kidding you when I say this to you. I'm hearing more and more. I wish it was that easy. It's just not that easy. I think dates sometimes are therapy. So I don't, you know. I, but I'm hearing this more and more where people are, are married and dating while they're married, but then telling the person that they're going on the date with that, hey, by the way, I just want to let you know one last thing about me. That's not fair. I'm a Sagittarius who's still married, it's, you know? That's not fair to the person that you're going on no. the date with. Hannah, what's going on? Yeah. What, do you, what do you think of this? I mean, here, here's how I, I, feel, I, I feel about it. You know, I feel like he should have been honest with me up front, and then it's my decision whether I move forward or not. I would not have. That's me. I feel like you're yeah. married. You've got to work that stuff out. Make a clean break. Get separated if you want to date. But to kind of lay that on me at the end of the date, that was That's not wrong. cool. And I had I had no interest in talking to him after that. Hannah? I felt like it was dishonest. Hannah's one of our call. What do you want to say, Hannah? So she completely dodged uh, Shannon's question, why she continued to stay the night after she found that out. Good call. Thank you. Katie? Yeah? He tells you he's married. Mm -hmm. Why do you still stay? Why do you not automatically go, I'm out of here? Couldn't have bothered you that much. What did you say? Why did you stay after he told you that he was married? You know... I have to be honest, I wish I wouldn't have. I I just, it was one of those situations where I, th- I thought to myself, what is happening here? Because we had time, I've known this guy for a while, you know, we work together. And then I just thought to myself, in retrospect, this is not what I want in a partner. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michelle, what do you want to say, Michelle? I was going to say that... You know how he's questioning, like, he doesn't know how his wife feels about the whole situation either. That maybe the second date update should be a call to his wife wondering Ooh. how she feels about the whole second date. What do you think about that, Andy? Would, are you okay with giving us your wife's phone number and letting us call your wife to see if she would... Well, I don't know about that, but, but you know, okay. Katie and I, we work together, so it wasn't like we were strangers and I was some freak. I understand. So. I understand. But I'm saying... What, what do you, no, your wife matter? is part of your life and everything. And if you're so, like, sitting here saying, oh, I think she's okay with it, probably because she's on the same page. I'm sleeping on the couch. She knows what's going on. Second date update. You want to find out your wife's feelings and then just get it over with. And then you can go date freely. Look, man. Oh. No. I, no. Guess, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure that's going to work out for me. I, well, if I had to guess, that's not how she rolls. So <laughs> I've been to Chili's. The drinks <laughs> ain't good. that strong. Yeah. <laughs> So we're all clear he's just keeping his options open and the wife doesn't know, right? Kelly, what's up? Yeah. Run! Run! I say we I say we ring her up. We ring her up and see how she feels about it. I agree. I think that's a great I think idea. I think that we need to get that number, Andy. What's up, Melina? Yeah, this guy is a clueless, selfish idiot. Selfish bastard. I mean, he deserves to run hell. I hate this. By the way, thank you so much for keeping it clean. We appreciate <laughs> that. that word for a minute. Really held back. Austin, what are your thoughts? Let's get a guy's point. What's going on? Oh my God, this guy is either the most, he either has good a risk, or but it's the dumbest person ever, or just does not know what to do with his life. Because how are you going to drop the bomb that you're married last minute 
If you're going to go through with it, might as well not even say anything in the first place. And second of all, why are you dating your coworkers? That is the most, like... Well, they used to work personal. together. So, oh, yeah. It's still, like, too, too personal. And yeah. second of all, like, let's establish something first. Be honest up front. So, I'm surprised that... Katie didn't do a little more background though on Andy and look social media and stuff and just see that he's got a wife and he's still married. Like I'm surprised that that you It's surprising we can't blame her. Nowadays that, I feel like that's the first thing even if sure. you work with somebody dive, and haven't seen dive. him in a while do a little deep dive. Samantha, what's up? Hey, this sounds more like War of the Roses than the second day. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. That's right. I say call the wife and if they work together Already known that they were married. If they well, were so close, you, mu- you were n- were you not married, Andy, when you guys worked together nah, at Chili's? Not, yeah, I didn't. I wasn't married when I worked at Chili's. So, no. yeah, okay. And Andy, she hadn't felt anything for you know for such a long time, and I think that she felt the same way. And and I, you know, in my defense, you, you know, you had your arms wrapped around me, and you know, we had a great time. And wait, did she so have her arms that- wrapped around you after you said that about your wife? At the end of the night, yeah, mm. and she and she I'm kissed sorry. you. I I beg to differ because that's after you told me about the wife. I felt like I totally but wait, that wait, wait. really knocked he, me for a loop. He said he that you gave him a kiss good night. You know, I did, but we we go back a long way. We're we were friends, but he married. I didn't even. No, I know, but it was just kind of like, listen. It was I like a friend, friend connection there. It yeah. was just, it was like but a friend, married. friend kiss. All right. I'm Thank with you. you. That's why I didn't return his call. But you returned the kiss. Say well, it one more time. It was sort of. Married. Know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sort of married. <laughs> this is the home of the second date update. War of the Roses, the throwback throwdown. And the dirty on the dirty. This is Mojo in the Morning. Listening to Mojo in the Morning.